obliged by frequent visits of this man, whom as priest, poet, and musician, I for some branch of Melchizedek took, though he derives himself from my lord Brook I sought his lodging, which is at the sign of the sad Belican, subject divine for poetry, there are three staircases high, which signifies his triple property, I found at last a chamber, as twas said, but seemed a coffin set on the stairs head not higher than shaven, nor larger than three feet, only there was nor ceiling, nor a sheet, save that th ingenious store did as you come turn in, and show to Wayne Scott half the room. Yet of his state no man could have complained, there being no bed where he entertained and though within one cell so narrow pent, he'd stanzas for a whole apart amon straight without further information, in hideous verse, he, in a dismal tone, begins to exercise, as if I were possessed, and sure the devil brought me there but I, who now imagine myself brought to my last real, in a serious thought calm the disorders of my youthful breast, and to my martyrdom prepare dressed. Only this frail ambition did remain, the last distemper of the sober brain, that there had been some present to assure the future ages how I did endure and how I, silent, turned my burning ear towards the verse, and when that could inhaled him the other, and unchanged yet, asked still for more, and prayed him to repeat till the tyrant, weary to persecute, left off and tried to lure me with his lute now as two instruments, to the same key being tuned by art, if the one touched be the other opposite as soon replies, moved by the air and hidden sympathies, so while he with his gouty fingers crawls over the lute, his murmuring belly calls, whose hungry guts to the same strightness twinned in echo to the trembling strings rape and I, that perceived now what his music meant, asked civilly if he had eat this lent he answered yes, with such, and such an one for he has this of genres, that alone he never feeds, save only when he tries with gristly tongue to dart the passing flies I asked if he eat flesh. And he, that was so hungry that though ready to say mass would break his fast before, said he was sick, and th ordinance was only politic. Nor was I longer to invite him, scanned happy at once to make him Protestant, and silent. Nothing now dinner stayed but till he had himself a body made I mean till he were dressed for else so then he stands, as if he only fed had been with consecrated wafers, and the host hath sure more flesh and blood than he can boast this basso relievo of a man, who as a camel tall, yet easily can the needles I thread without any stitch, his only impossible is to be rich lest his too subtle body, growing rare, should leave his soul to wander in the air, he therefore circumscribes himself in rhymes, and swaddled in's own papers seven times, wears a close jacket of poetic buff, with which he doth his third dimension stuff. Thus armed underneath, he over all does make a primitive soton of fall, and above that yet casts an antic cloak, worn at the first council of Antioch, which by the Jews long hid, and disesteemed, he heard of by tradition, and redeemed but were he not in this black habit decked, this half-transparent man would soon reflect each color that he passed by, and be seen, as the chameleon, yellow, blue, or green he dressed, and ready to disfurnish now his chamber, whose compactness did allow no empty place for complimenting doubt, but who came last is forked first to go out, I meet one on the stairs who made me stand, stopping the passage, and did him demand I answered he is here sir, but you see you cannot pass to him but thorough me. He thought himself affronted, and replied, I whom the polis never has denied will make the way here, I said sir you'll do me a great favor for I seek to go he gathering fury still made sign to draw, but himself there clothed in a scabbard saw as narrow as his swords, and I, that was delightful, said there can no body pass except by penetration hither, where two make a crowd, nor can three persons here consist but in one substance. Then, to fit our peace, the priest said I too had some wit to brevet, I said, the place doth us invite but its own narrowness, sir, to unite. He asked me pardon and to make me way went down, as I him followed to obey but the propitiatory priest had straight obliged us, when below, to celebrate together our atonement, so increased betwixt us to the dinner to a feast let it suffice that we could eat in peace, and that both poems did and quarrels cease during the table, though my new made friend did, as he threatened, ere it were long intend to be both witty and valiant, I oath, said twas too late, he was already both, but now, alas, my first tormentor came, who satisfied with eating, but not tame turns to recite, 
though judges most severe after the sizes dinner mild appear, and on full stomach do condemn but few yet he more strict my sentence doth renew, and draws out of the black box of his breast an choir of paper in which he was dressed yet that which was a greater cruelty than Nero's poem he calls charity and so the pelican at his door hung picks at the tender bosom to its young of all his poems there he stands ungirt save only two foul copies for his shirt yet these he promises as soon as clean but how I loathed to see my neighbor glean those papers which he pilled from within like white fleeks rising from a leaper's skin more odious than those rags which the French youth at ordinaries after dinner showeth, when they compare their shankries and polains yet he first kiss them, and after takes pains to read, and then, because he understood good not one word, thought and swore that they were but all his praises could not now appease the provoked author, whom it did displease to hear his verses, by so just a curse, that were ill made condemned to be read worse and how, impossible he made yet more absurditize in them than were before. For he his untuned voice did fall or raise as a deaf man upon a vile place, making the half points and the periods run confused or then the atomies in the sun thereat the poet swelled, with anger full, and roared out, like Beryllus in his own bull, so you read false. That any one but you should know the contrary. Whereat, I, now made mediator, in my room said, why to say that you read false sir is no lie. Thereat the waxen youth reluctant straight, but saw with sad despair that was too late for the disdainful poet was retired home, his most furious satyr to have heard against the rebel, who, at this struck dead wept bitterly as disinherited who should commend his mistress now, or who praise him. Both difficult indeed to do with truth. I counseled him to go in time, ere the fierce poet's anger turned to rhyme he hasted, and I, finding myself free, did, as he threatened, ere it were long intend as one scap strangely from captivity, have made the chance be painted, and go now to hang it in St. Peter's for a vow.